very hard to make any headway. For more on this, we are joined by spokesperson for the entertainment and media industry leader at PwC Southern Africa, Vicky Myberg. Very good morning to you and thank you good for morning. being here. Good morning. So you recently released a media outlook that looks uh, ahead to more or less four or five years time. Um, what are your key projections? The key projections that we see is um, a 6.6% mm. compound annual interest growth. But behind that, there's actually quite a lot of um, divergence, if I can say. So mm -hmm. we're seeing uh, television, video, film, the entertainment, internet growing at fantastic rates. But publishing is actually mm -hmm. flatlining and they're really having to work very, very hard to to actually even just keep their heads above the water. Now we've seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of people saying that the print media is actually dead. But uh, we've also seen that a lot of them are migrating to digital platforms. Mm. Is this the way to go? Are we, or are we going to see mm. print media completely um, dissolve? Mm. So print media in South Africa and globally is actually in long-term decline. Mm. And we actually see that um, print media revenues in 2020 will be one billion rand less than they are today, mm -hmm. which I think does indicate something. I don't think people are reading less and they've never wanted more news than they want mm -hmm. now, but they're moving quickly to digital and the loss of the print revenues is not finding its way into digital revenues. And I don't think the model's been successfully uncovered yet. And uh, we actually seem to, I want to move away from print just quickly to our, our film industry. Mm -hmm. Now, Southern Africa and even other parts of Africa are doing really well in the film industry. Mm -hmm. And South Africa seems to have a, a becoming quite a, a big head name in international mm -hmm. um, spheres as well. Um, but we also still have a number of challenges. Um, can you talk to us about some of these? Mm. So I think the film industry in particular had a very good year in South Africa, um, mm -hmm. growing 13.8% won't continue and I think the main reason for that was actually great box office uh, Star Wars Jurassic Park contributed to that but you're a hundred percent right I think South Africa is seen as a very good location mm. even for film productions mm. um, and the climate is great the location is great the economy I suppose the rand does help mm -hmm. so it is certainly an area to look at as is Kenya as well mm. um, it's, it's an exciting industry to be in. I think there's a lot of developments. There's a lot of um, cinemas with new technologies being mm -hmm. bought in. And that is also driving growth in the industry. Now, there seems to be a lot of content for, um, in particular, South Africans to view. I mean, we have access to a lot of the American programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we've now been introduced to Netflix here, which, is, uh, of course, will be a small portion of South Africans will have access. But... Um, do we have a unique uh, local content that may not be so competitive with the international um, programs? Mm. So I think that's a good question. And if you take Netflix, for example, mm. when they launched on the same day in 130 countries, I think their initial plan was to use their global content. Mm. And I th they quickly realized that that model actually won't work. And every local economy um, really does want local content to the tastes of the local consumer. So yes, I think we do have very specific tastes and preferences mm -hmm. and certain productions that work only in South Africa, um, but that's also a plus. And I think with the new local content requirements, that should really be a very good thing for the mm -hmm. production industry in the country. Now we're seeing a lot more people having access to internet and in your report you also talk about the rise in um, access to internet mm -hmm. which is quite a, a significant number. Um, what does this mean for our entertainment industry? Mm. So the internet access drives the whole entertainment mm -hmm. industry and it's all the shifts we've seen and the disruption we've seen over the last few years has been because of the internet. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, I think consumers are moving to digital Every single industry across the board needs to understand the consumer more and more um, and to target their offerings to that consumer. There's a hell of a lot of content out there, but it's what does the individual consumer want. Now, we keep on hearing that South Africa is doing really well, but is this a true reflection and um, how far do we still need to go? Mm. So I think, look, the one thing that is very helpful for South Africa is that there's a quite a big emerging middle class. Mm. And the other thing is the youth. We've got a very young population. So over 60% of the population is under the age of 35. 
Um, and we've seen a direct correlation between growing E&M revenues and mm. younger economies. So the 10 youngest economies in the world are growing three times faster than the 10 oldest ones. And that is not... It, look, the younger people do like and are much more comfortable mm. consuming digital media, but they're also spending more and more time. The challenge is they're not so willing to pay. <laughs> and that is the challenge for the industry. And we have a number of um, up-and-coming businesses. How do we better promote these um, industries that are really trying to make a market for themselves? Mm. Look, I think the, the most important thing is they need to actually focus on the consumer. Mm. But I also think a lot of these companies need to focus on their talent and who they're hiring because mm. the creative talent is perhaps less important now than those guys that can actually analyze mm. the data, get to understand when the next trend's going to happen. So we're already seeing it. We're seeing in music mm. the pivot from downloads which are slowing to streaming, which is growing. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was very interesting to see where media is going in South Africa. That was spokesperson for entertainment and media industry leader at the PwC Southern Africa, Vicky Myberg.